Flights grounded, banking and healthcare systems disrupted, even complications for the organizers of the Paris Olympics. That's all the result of a software update that wreaked havoc on Microsoft Windows operating systems. That update was to a product provided by cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. The company's CEO was clear that it was not a security incident or a cyber attack. Microsoft says the issue has been fixed, though residual impacts continue to affect some customers. We can take a listen to some of those stranded airline passengers. We meant to fly out at five, and then about 20 minutes ago, we got the announcement that it was canceled. So yeah, we've just been hanging around really with no information. Right now, what's, uh, what's uh, interesting to watch is the airline have no idea what's happening um, because it is such, a, such an issue that they don't have a grasp on yet, at least here at the, the Minneapolis airport. I see long queues now. I think it's going to take me at least 45 minutes, one hour to get into the airport. I don't know how long the security is going to take. And right now, I'm not even sure of the impact on the timings of the flight as well. Well, for some analysis, we can cross to New York and speak to Dan Ives, Managing Director and Senior Equity Analyst at investment bank Wedbush Securities. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we were hearing there from airline passengers, havoc uh, in, the, in the airline industry, but also the banking sector. Uh, as someone from banking, can you start by explaining the impact this outage had uh, on the banking system? Yeah, look, this is a black eye, not just for CrowdStrike, but I think for the cybersecurity industry. It's a, look, this is the biggest IT outage in the history of the world. And the impacts there are just massive, especially in this interconnected world that we live in. We see it across banking, across airlines, transportation, and others. This is going to be, you know, I think an uphill battle over the coming weeks and months, especially for CrowdStrike, given the PR nightmare. Yeah, CrowdStrike, the, the cybersecurity firm whose update caused this incident, they've already seen their stock tumble some 14 percent. Just how damaging do you think this is going to be for them? Look, this is something I don't think longer term that this changes the trajectory of the company. But in the near term, it's a code red situation. I mean, this is the worst nightmare for any company. CrowdStrike's been gold standard when it comes to cybersecurity. And from a brand perspective, that's going to be the, the big thing. It's not necessarily just legal and all the lawsuits that will come out. It's about brand and reputation. And is it damaging for Microsoft as well? I think Microsoft just caught in the fray. I mean, this is an update that ultimately just went to their operating system. So I think it's pretty clear it's not a Microsoft issue. Now, with that said, I think Microsoft, they're not just going to take this standing down. I mean, they're going to look closely future updates does this ultimately catalyze Microsoft to maybe acquire a cybersecurity company, do more themselves? We're going to see that potential with Google and Wiz. This is definitely ripple effects that we'll see for many years. And are CrowdStrike and Microsoft, do you think, going to face major repercussions from their clients? I know you mentioned lawsuits. You know, could airlines, for example, demand damage payments? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're a lawyer for CrowdStrike, I don't think you're going to be enjoying the rest of the summer. So this is something that's going to continue, I think, for years. Clearly, there's going to be legal issues. They'll probably be called in, front, in D.C. In, in some hearing. It's the biggest outage ever and around the globe. And, and that's something where no company wants to be involved in that, let alone CrowdStrike, which has been one of the best tech companies in the world. And what do you think has to change to prevent incidents like this from happening again in the future? I think it's really about updates. There needs to be some vetting system, an extra layer to make sure nothing like this could happen. And it shows the vulnerability. And right now, if you're in an airport, you've missed your flight. The point is CrowdStrike now becomes a household name, but not in an NVIDIA way, in a good way, in a bad way. And I think something needs to change in terms of updates. That's on Microsoft. I think other tech companies are going to look at closely over the coming months. And is there any way that consumers can protect themselves from incidents like this, or we're all just sort of at the whims of, of those bigger tech companies? It's like being stuck in traffic with nowhere to go. You know, and, that, and, that's, and that's part of the issue, is that we rely on these tech companies that this does not happen. Instead, it's a, just a disaster of epic proportions from an IT perspective. 